Okay, old dragon slayer actually needs a little bit more of an explanation than the giant does, so let's go for this. So, this wanker here isn't actually that difficult if you've got a shield. All you got to do, keep to his right side. Well, I suppose his left side, you're, you, you circle right, like so. He can barely hit you. The only thing he's ever going to hit you with is the swing like that. Splat. Or if he does the four one, which is quite rare. Just need to stay away from him, really. For some reason I'm recording at 30 frames today. Oh, excellent. It's nice and easy for me. Uh, obviously you want to avoid that if it's all possible. Um, don't, don't stand in the purple shit. That should be fairly obvious, I think, at this point. There we go. We, we are 60 frames again. I can see. Uh. Alright, it's more of a... It's a longer fight than some of the others. It's just a case of don't rush it. You know, never attack unless you're certain you're actually going to get away with it. So, if you does something like that, you're free to attack. He has a long cooldown on all of his abilities, so just strafe out of the way and give him a bit of a love tap and back in again. There's pretty much nothing more to it than that, other than keep your shield up, always stay circling to his left. And don't get greedy. If you think you can only get one attack in, just get one attack in. Don't go for two. Never go for three. I don't find it's worth it. I did this yesterday with a two-hand build, and you can easily do this without a shield. I'm just doing it with a shield, just for ease of use. Um, as you probably noticed, the bosses uh, have a lot less HP when it's just one of you, so use that to your advantage. Like there, could have struck twice, decided to struck once. It's never worth taking the risk. There's no time limit on these bosses, so there's no reason to rush. Unless you're steadily running out of health, which you really won't be here, and you got particular, you got absolutely nothing to worry about. Ooh. Yeah, you definitely don't want to get caught by that, because you go up in the air. I don't think you can actually block that skill. Right, Matt, staying out of that one. Right, what we'll do, we'll go to him over here. What's up? Donk, donk. When you get him down to about one-fifth HP left remaining, he'll get stunned, normally anyway. Uh, you can use this to get a couple of extra taps in, or heal yourself, or whatever you prefer to do. If you're at reasonable amount of health, like I am, get a couple of extra hits in. Because why not, you know? That's of course if he actually takes the, actually gets done. He doesn't always, it's kinda weird. Um, of course if you're playing a caster, this there we go. The similar game the similar sort of playstyle can sort of apply really. You can easily strafe and get a spell in. You can back you can back off like this. Go in a swing. Go in a swing, then cast like so. So every time he comes for you. So what you do, you go in with your shield up like this. This shield as well, by the way, for casters, very good. And then just back off and get a couple of hits in with the spells. With spells, it's actually really quick as well, because, well, Ornstein isn't exactly the fastest of bosses. Ugh! So he's no pursuer, that's for certain. Come on, Munchkin, over it. And a couple more goes of this and he's dead. Easy peasy. If you're at a distance from him, he may actually do go for some casts, and why didn't that damage go off? I don't know. There we go. One dead boss. If you're at a large distance from him, he may do a cast as well, which his spear glows and he shoots some shit at you, but eh, roll it. Don't block it. There we go, another boss down. Okay, next boss. Pretty much the same stuff. Same experience, same everything. I haven't even used up my souls yet, so. This guy's pretty easy as far as stuff goes. All you want to do, exactly like last time, stay on his right side. Well, sorry. You circle right on his left side. Because he's right handed. So, he can't hit you as easy. What you got to do is goad him into an attack. The sweepy one you kind of want to stay out of the way of, preferably. Never attack him on a sweeping horizontal attack, only go for verticals. Kind of like Soul Calibur. Of course, you've got to try and actually avoid them. Again, can be done perfectly fine without a shield. And if you're a caster, it's even easier. You just stay away from him and shoot him. Only go for a strike when you think you're safe. And blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. Ain't much more to say on that.
Alright, pretty much nothing to this one either. Um, exactly the same deal as the others, but this guy obviously has extra bits to him. I'm using a greatsword here, so I'm going for a guts build, which is big old greatsword. Normally without a shield, but I'm cowarding out because it's a little bit easier. Either way, say so this one's a little bit different than the bosses. You kind of want to goad him into attacks and then attack him. Now, ugh, I should explain what my stats are actually before I went to there, weren't I? Sorry, you'd have to look, wait for the end of the video. I'll show you what it is. Ooh, oops. That's a bit silly. Pretty much ain't nothing to this guy. He even pops up as a normal blokey later. So. I think it's another case of don't be rash. I prefer the heavy mace side than the sword side, because it's a little bit easier. My sword's doing absolutely noble damage to him as well, which is a bit irritating. I only got this on the route, so I haven't actually gone back to Medulla to upgrade yet, as it's probably evident from the amount of souls I have. Either way, Flexile dies pretty simply enough. Doink. You want to try and goad him into that three attack, he does one, two, then three. Makes life a little bit easier. He does love jumping back and forth. Ooh. Doink. Splat. If anything, any of the bosses that are one-on-one -on -one are pretty simplistic to do solo. Oh shit, he says. Taking lots of damage. There we go. Ooh. Ideally you don't want to block any of his attacks, you just want to avoid them. Which, again... Oi! He does have one really nasty attack, he uses it quite rarely, where he'll grab you and throw you up in the air. Like some sort of evil pirouetting sort of chicken. But, he doesn't do it very often, so... Not enough for me to even warrant really saying, so... Ow. Ow. Alright, let's try not to die before the end here. That would be kind of awkward. Splat. There we go. Okay, stats are at... There. So, lots of points into strength, a little into dex, uh, and then vigor, endurance, fatality. That's the kind of build I'm going for here. That's my total souls. Obviously, I haven't, really, I haven't done any farming. I've just been walking through the game this morning. So, that's pretty much it. Alright. Onwards. This is one of the harder fights to do solo, and I imagine the one that will give people the most grief. Um, so I'll try and cover this as easy as I can. It's a case of th no theatrics needed on this one. You just got to take it real slow and steady. The other two don't activate until this one's dead, so there's no point rushing this. Just take it easy. Um, try to keep your stamina up as much as you can, especially when you're on this small platform. I'm using the greatsword plus 6 right now. Was it plus 5? I forget. I'm sure it'll tell me when it breaks in a second. So. A lot of people get intimidated by the fact there's 3 of them. Of course, there isn't really. You only ever deal with 2 at once, unless you really bugger it up. So, drop down straight away. Now, I prefer to keep them both in front of me if at all possible. Uh, so, the second one joins the fight after a couple of seconds, which is about now. What they like doing is both throwing their shields and spinning at you, so ideally we'll have them lose their shields, because it means it's a bit easier. Uh, like, let's say basically keep them both keep them both in viewing distance. Always attack the same one. Right, he's gonna spin on me. Both can spin. Okay, this big burly shield, you haven't really got to worry about the spinning, so. I'm using the right trigger attack, which is the forward sort of thrusting one. And again, don't rush this. It's, it's, you know, there's no again, no time limit. There's nothing to sort of sort of to worry about. The best thing to do is to goad them into an attack. What is this one doing? Come here, you. So goad them into attack. Ugh, damn it, that's not what you want to happen. If they start splitting up, that's when you have a problem. Or going behind you, like that one does. Shit, that was a mistake. Oh, I actually managed to roll that. Nice. Clunk. So in one more hit, a lesser will be dead. <laughs> Goodbye, Silent Hill. With this burly shield, you can pretty much block every attack without any sort of risk. It's the tower shield, by the way, the one behind the old Dragon Slayer. Needs 30 strength to wield, but any shield with 100% damage reduction will do for this fight. 
it just has the added benefit of being able to um, have high stamina in the sense that you won't you won't lose that much when you block, which is nice. Okay, that's fine. We're going to take this one out now. So, this is Alyssa out. And once you're on to one left, it's easy. The rest of this fight is just a cakewalk. You've got an entire arena to sort of play with this big idiot. I mean, I did that without using any Estus. And... Did I use any life gems in the end? I can't remember. I don't think I did. So... Like I said, slow and steady. No, no problems. Crunch. I will show my stats afterwards as well, which I didn't do again beforehand. Always very helpful. You can do this without shield. Again, don't recommend it. That's it. Three sentinels down solo. Uh, that's standard tower shield. Greatsword plus six. I'm, I'm missing two pieces of armor just simply for the weight. I'm keeping under 70% here. Keeping under 70% is important because it doesn't mean we need to don't get fat roll, which is good. These are the rings I'm using. Um, simply because, well, zone ring not really necessary. Um, neither is the life ring, but the Chloranthi and the Royal Soldiers are. So, um, and what are my actual statistics? There you go. That's level 58. Those are where I've put my points. Sort of strength and dex have stayed where they were for the past few levels. I'm now getting vigor, um, endurance, and vitality up to reasonable levels. Uh, 177k. Again, no farming particularly really done. I've just been getting through to the areas, and uh, that's it. So, next boss will be the Skeletons, and that will bring us up to date with the LP. And what I'll do, I'll park this character there, and then I can show you how the boss is done solo as we do more, I suppose. Alright. Okay, so this is the last one until we're up to the sort of LP now. Um, level 64, these are the stats I've got in. I've changed my weapon to plus 10. Um, otherwise, it's still wearing the same stuff as before. Right. Now. This one's actually really easy, as long as you take it carefully. In the sense that you only want to do one of these buggers at a time. And you start with this wanger here, because he's the spellcaster. Whoosh. We. To be honest, you could do them all at once, but there's no real point. What we do want to do is... Uh, ah, there they are. Kill these turds. Get them wheel scones. We. Doink. Alright, won't entirely whiff it. It's a control fight, I suppose. Famous last words before we get munched. Let's just go around here quickly. The quicker you can dispatch the extras, the easier this becomes, really. I really don't know why this is a boss fight. I mean, it's kind of funky looking, sure, but... I mm, could probably kill both once now. Look at the other one. Oh, he's got stuck around there somewhere. Scary, spooky, scary. Ooh. Really wish the roll in this one worked like it did in the first game. It bugs me. You roll something you think you're not gonna get hit by, and then. Either way, there isn't really a lot to say about this one. Compared to the other fights you've been doing solo up to this point, it's absolutely nothing at all. Right. There ain't a lot to say. Just kill one after another and then kill the adds. Don't pop them all at the same time, otherwise you'll probably find there's a bit too many. Especially with the wheel skeletons, because they're a friggin' nuisance. What we got left? Two? Two left, I guess. Just you. Well, there should be one left. There you are. Doink! Jerk. There we go. Let's get laws down. Woo. And that's it. We're all up to date to the LP. I hope that's helped anyone who's curious how to do that solo. Um, I know a few of you did ask. So. There we go. And, uh, well, until we continue with the LP, cheers, guys.